Hello Aries, welcome into my channel. Thank you so much for being here and I do hope that you're doing well. I'm Sage Sunset and I'm here to present to you intuitively interpreted messages using the tarot cards here. All right, Aries, welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. And I hope that you find messages that resonate with you here. All right, let's get started. So we have a few power cards out here. We have the lover's card for you. We have the king of cups and the king of swords. And I feel like some of you Aries are moving, are deciding to find value in your, in your relationship. So this could be a love relationship or business. Some of you are actually getting offers of love here. There's a real soul connection from possibly a water sign. A water sign that is Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. I feel like this could be this week actually. That's what just I felt like for some people. Uh, somebody wants to move into you with love. Maybe somebody has gotten emotionally mature and just wants to come into you like as if they're being guided into you somebody has changed their perspective on life possibly on money on their value system somebody has been working on themselves i feel in order to move into you someone has released some burdens or you know someone is getting some financial payments here because releasing burdens could also mean that you're exchanging energy you're swapping out something that you have whether it is a product or a service and you're getting back something in return that is of value so it could be money and it also can be just finance just um um just something inside of yourself your your self-worth just your pride glowing feeling good about yourself about something that you're about to receive so you could be receiving this through a message here some Aries could be moving or this could be someone moving into you possibly an air sign I see here moving into you or moving away so let it fly where it fits or you know what I'm saying right <laughs> so just let it apply right so it could be you that's moving Aries towards someone or someone that you love uh, this could be a, this is a heavenly connection a really divine connection where Two people are able to really feel each other out and sometimes this connection may be very very intense bordering on toxic for some people uh, I feel like some people are also moving into a greater divine wisdom within themselves connecting with themselves not really another person but finding that heart-to-heart -heart connection Aries with who you are some Aries could be blocking this connection with themselves some ears could be really focusing on money right now and I feel some ears are definitely moving into love they're being asked are guided to to align with self-love so that it can be manifested within their lives because maybe some areas have been out here asking for love have been wanting to receive love but I feel like the angels are guiding you to find that value to establish that sense of value in yourself and that love within who you are getting to know who you are to offer love and um, connection to yourself first to find um, your emotional stability and balance to think about your values as an individual what it is that you want out of this life the life that you want to live I feel like maybe the person that you are you're intending on going toward is very emotionally mature and are actually looking for something stable or this could be you I feel like if you don't go correct you will somehow be blocked or this could be you right the person coming into you knows they should come to you correct come to you correct come direct um, on what they want to say come determined have willpower be even passionate about what it is that you're saying let us speak the truth here you know or else it's not going to be tolerated so there's a great force here of just firmness of stability, growth, development, prosperity. Some people here could be in law enforcement, I feel. Or this could be just a blockage. I see Aries following directions. There's momentum picking up, picking up in your life. And this could be a business that you're starting. 
for some people. This could be a relationship, anything that can flourish and prosper that you're working on right now. You're being victorious, um, you're coming out on top of this because you're moving ahead. You're, you have picked up momentum, you have aligned, you've decided to be clear, to be direct, to move in the direction that you need to go in to release burdens, whatever it takes to move forward, to become emotionally mature and grounded, right? And this could be a cancer in coming into your lives. I said that earlier, okay? Um, for love, for that alignment of love here with the three, a celebration, and uh, you know, a celebration of, of love. I feel for many of you, you're actually manifesting this just beautiful desires, love connection with yourself, or it could be with another person. So yes, I feel like you're definitely moving forward to align with who you are. You're moving with your heart on your sleeve. You're being grounded. But I think you really want to elevate who, who you are, what it is that you're representing in this life. You're looking at all that you have become, all that you have acquired in this life, achieved, attained, whether it's education, whether it's in, it's in your business that you have established. And I feel like there's something in your heart that wonders. I don't if it wonders about where you could be or what else you could be doing or something in your past energy. You know, I feel like sometimes your heart space. Uh, you want to be able to move with your heart, and that is where the King of Cups or the King of Hearts come in here for you. And we're going to see if you have an obstacle in this. Let's see what it could be for you. Mm uncertainty i feel like you don't feel brave enough to make this move forward or some of you could just be in contemplation mode right now really thinking of what steps you need to take thinking of the person you wish to become i see swords here again in your energy this is air sign this is swiftness directness becoming clear about the journey that you want so maybe you're not moving as it in the direction that you wish to go in but i feel like eventually you will wind up where you need to be because the movement cards are here the plus the, the the cards of overcoming i see them on the board you're getting through whatever situation may have had you blocked or any situation that you're blocking you're figuring out how to get through this this and coming in alignment so maybe you're not moving as yet aries because you're just you're there people see you not moving and wondering what's going on with you have you ceased <laughs> Have you stopped performing? But you're actually doing the inner work, I feel. That is, I love that. I love that. Okay? Oh my gosh. So maybe some of you are looking to really level up financially. This is a blessing or a new beginning of financial abundance, stability, prosperity coming into your life within this week, I feel, to say for you, Aries. I feel like this is the overall energy of you be, I feel like you receive well financially or for some of you this could be wanting to receive financially and is not as if something is being held back from you you're not able to receive something value is it value core values in yourself a sense of identity purpose movement maybe you're contemplating what to give how to give or how to receive wow look at this the king of pentacles wow so this is this is turning into a money reading a finance career it has love aries so i feel like you're grounded because you are financially balanced and stable you are you have a business set up that's running well i feel like you give back to you give back to others okay so it could be that in business you're not getting what you, you, you what is due to you or maybe this is something coming into you or that's that's continuous money streaming into you and as i said looking at all that you have acquired and i feel like you're very you're you you are a creative person so you probably have your own business set up here all right aries oh my gosh you're leaving behind something you're moving, I feel like you're moving away from something that is energetically draining, toxic. I feel like that's why you're in your heart space, really meditating and contemplating about this journey ahead of you. 
looking at where you are in life, what you wish to become, the things that you leave, you wish to leave behind you so that you can really ascend, transcend into a greater place. And I think this greater place is this emotional maturity, being ready. Oops. <laughs> Some of you aren't ready. <laughs> being ready to settle down, really. But we don't see the, the family card here. We see the card of love of affection genuine heartfelt affection maybe some of you are afraid afraid of giving your love so you you're blocking you're, you're afraid courage hmm. this devil energy might not even be a relationship that is romantic it could be work and it could be a relationship that you have with yourself and other things in your life uh, a relationship with food a relationship with anything that is that causes you to be attached negatively it could be past a past emotion that you've been holding on to for so long Aries and it has probably made you who you are today all right so it could be an emotion I feel you're drifting away from this I feel like you're easing, like as if the water water has decided to come I don't see as if it's saying don't try to figure out this energy anymore just leave it be and the water has come and carried you away and this is left in the past as if something has come to say just don't focus on that anymore let's go and you have no choice but to go the waves your it could be your emotion your emotional development that is the water this is the sign of water so this could be another person that is a water sign coming into your life and helping you to move past Certain emotions are people, situations that kept you feeling trapped. Healing, moving into healing, transforming your emotions. I feel like this could be healing with a, a parent, perhaps, for some areas. I feel like drugs, too. Think about that. Anything that you're attached to, to that keeps you from moving. There's a force coming into your life. It's a blessing, a new beginning. I mean, maybe it's your, a sense of value for you that's going to move you away from this energy, this toxic vibration. Um, just want, I feel like wanting to be healed, wanting to maybe be accepted and loved, wanting answers. Something is going to move you. Maybe it's a clarity and understanding. Maybe it's a message coming into you that's going to cause you to really be more mature maybe maybe you are emotionally immature in the way how you handle things before um aries that's no problem you know we all have to go through our bit in life before we can really find the lesson or the blessing in each each of our the journey that we go through wow there's something coming into you or this could be once again you moving away i feel like something has been offered or bestowed upon you or restored something has been restored in you restoration oh my god just imagine you're moving away from toxic a toxic energy and i feel like you're moving into restoration and i feel like you deserve it it feels like retribution as if you have won the race you have crossed the line you have come across that finish line and your gift is being presented to you this could be you offering your service to other people here this could be you really going out being diligent being disciplined seeing your value knowing your worth aries and just moving further in that direction i feel like when you begin actually standing firm in your truth knowing what you deserve out of this life knowing who you are knowing you're guided loved and protected from certain energy it makes you more vulnerable you know or maybe some of you are moving out of being too vulnerable because maybe if you're too vulnerable Aries then you become a target or something and so you decide to move into a place of more firmness and groundedness oh my god look at this the king and the queen of cups okay 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 I love cups energies <laughs> all right so <laughs> I might be reading for a female Aries. You could have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio heavily in your birth chart. A lot of emotions. 
what a sign i feel like you're emotionally sensible emotionally wise knowing when to move and that's what i said earlier just your emotions carrying you away into a place of more maturity where before you may have been reacting to certain situations in a similar fashion i feel like you're you're leveling up you're moving toward that place where you can align with the truth of who you are right okay so moving toward some of you could be wanting to get married some of you could have children wanting to have children start a business here some of you is just moving look at this I feel like this person is almost like a gift maybe they see you coming you know maybe they see you coming this water sign they're as if they're ready to hold you I feel like you're ready to just go into this energy and be vulnerable release and this person is like a motherly energy here that would that will hold you as if they're saying come come my baby come and then they hold you Aries they'll hold you you're moving into that as I said maybe healing from a parental issue that feeling of not being enough or you know those little things that our parents go, go we go through with our parents and or this could be a relationship but it's going to be very healing for you and this could be how you're feeling you could be feeling healing open emotionally grounded and stable right now i feel like looking for the best of yourself i feel like you're looking out for something it could be this reading <laughs> but i feel aries like you're looking for something you're looking for something you're waiting you're like you know it's gonna come through and you're like waiting for it to, to be to be had wow look at this again the energy of waiting of being patient of trusting of knowing that you planted the seed and it is coming through for you i feel like some of you have multiple streams of income if we're talking about money i feel like you have a lot to be thankful for actually there's a lot of finance money cards here and remember that the card the money card is not just physical cash or you know money it's actually value your sense of worth what it is that you're giving your sense of you know being able to be of service to others and that's developing you feel pride you feel good you feel good in your home so your home could be prospering things are turning for the better i feel like someone could be taking charge being more mature in the home being patient being kind nurturing watering the seeds where they need to be watered being patient here and things are coming through mm, wow some of you could be afraid that things might not come through i feel like some of you could be afraid of a past energy repeating itself afraid of getting sucked back into the past again aries afraid that things will end abruptly afraid that there will be a separation but i want you to know that when there's an ending there's a brand new beginning and sometimes holding on to something tightly causes that restriction that resistance even pulls it closer to us it welcomes it into our vibration so sometimes we have to release let the end be a choice for you you know sometimes sometimes we have to let the end be oh i release that i allow it to end i allow it to end I allow you to walk away or i am allowing myself to walk away i'm allowing something ending that's not serving me i'm allowing certain ideas from the past that i hold on to i feel like they want to be ended now i'm releasing and allowing this to fall so maybe it is an end that you see coming you're waiting for something to end some of you you're using your intuition that is also the queen of cups energy here aries okay wow hmm so still like still waiting to end there's a lot of things that have manifested on your journey from 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 being here where you want to move off you want to move forward but really contemplating how do you do this wanting to do it solid grounded in a grounded manner so i feel like you you have moved you see all you have to be thankful for but for some of you areas you're still maybe watching out for this energy as if i like i said you feel something coming your intuition is working here and it's as if you you're still looking out some something over your shoulder to be coming now this could be good this could be you waiting for that healing 
I feel as if this could be you'll be like, oh yes, it's my turn to heal now. I, I put I put the work in, you know, and I'm ready to be healed. So it's not necessarily even though this person looks, you know, tattered, a bit tattered, torn. I feel like yes, they are waiting for that healing to come in. I feel like this is hopeful. Oh, I love it. I do. This feels like hopeful energy because after the nine because this is a nine of wands that is the creative energy flourishing fertility virility uh just growth development prosperity idea luck courage wisdom passion desire right so after the nine of all of that energy comes the ten and the ten is either the ending or a brand new beginning so some of you are waiting for this ending or you're waiting more likely for a brand new beginning. Some of you are waiting. I don't want to bring this card up again. Oh, see, it fell. It turned over. I feel like that's that. <laughs> oh my God, I'm not going to take it up again. But so if you're scared about this coming back in your past, I feel like it is over. Remember earlier when I said the water carried you away from that energy? That could be your emotions or another person just taking that energy from you it is done that energy went in another direction i feel and it is i feel like it is onward from for you from now on aries it may take a while for you to open up again emotionally okay but um it's it's coming you're taking your time you feel grounded and blessed financially here and your emotional maturity or your divine connection because look at this we have the lover's card which is a twin flame union a twin flame energy we have aries the king and the queen of cups and this is that paternal maternal energy business-minded family a home person that two people that can hold each other balance each other's emotion people that even know what each other are, are thinking before you know just that kind of a beauty oh god my heart is smeltering that beautiful connection that every well a lot of people dream of you know i feel like he's heading toward her and she sees him i feel like in my heart space i know something is coming to me i know i know they're coming to offer some love it could as i said this don't have to be romantic but we do have the lovers card out here For some of you it's romantic and some of you it's not all right, Aries, so now we have the Ace of Cups here for you, which is amazing because I felt like something is coming. Something is coming into you. A blessing, beautiful, brand new beginning, washing of emotional energies that were unserving, just a moving out of the, an idea of yourself that you had or a relationship in the past. This brand new beginning is emotional fulfillment. And like I said, we have a lot of water cards up here. Someone is coming to offer you love, Aries. And of course, this could be for Aries person who are who is going to offer their person love, like an abundance of joy, fulfillment, just contentment, happiness, prosperity, success material success as well as much as emotional success and fulfillment look at this i felt like something is coming into you and it just i feel i said i feel it in my heart so this is where it will reach you when it gets here just beautiful I, okay <laughs> it's so nice it's really good to see that right you could be coming from a, a female toward a male okay amazing energy i love it so beautiful healing also coming in all right yes. I'm, I'm leaving your reading here some of you it's really romantic it's like desirous desirous energy passion aries thank you so much for being here and i hope you you find messages in this reading that are able to help you along your journey if you did please give my video a thumbs up aries and subscribe to my channel for more videos and i want to take this time to thank you if you have already subscribed thank you so much for being a part of my journey and may it be our journey together aries remember you can be do have everything and anything in this world that you desire because you are 
all and all is within you Aries. Cheers.